welcome back everyone to the video series dedicated to CBS's Big Brother Season 22 All-Stars. Now, just like my previous videos, I'm going to go into a review and recap on the most recent episode of Big Brother and then give a hand signal going into the live feed update so you don't get spoiled. But there's really nothing to spoil because the live feeds have been down for like 22 plus hours yesterday and people are finding it very, very enjoyable. They're not. They're really hating it. But we'll get into all of that a little bit later. But let's start off where last episode left off, and that was Memphis nominating Davon and Kevin. And everyone is jumping on the excuse that it's because Davon used the veto on Kevin last week. No, she was going to be put up anyways. Let's just, come on, be real. Be real in this whole situation. She was going to be put up anyways. It's just that she has Kevin still in the house with her because Kevin would have been the one booted out and the first juror in the jury house if she didn't use it last week. So stop trying to pin it on her saving her best friend in the house as the excuse that this is why she's put up on the block. Get out of here with that, I hate it. Now we also get Kevin and Devon like sharing a very touching moment about how they value each other's friendship and happy that they were in the house together no matter what happens this week. I thought that it was very, very personal, and it was nice to see, especially in a game that's just a raging dumpster fire for since the beginning to now. Um, so to me, that was a really positive point in this episode. But then we move on to the players pick to play in this week's veto competition. And of course, we have Memphis, Davon, and Kevin playing, and Memphis picks Tyler's chip. And then both Davon and Kevin pick house guest choice, and Devon decides to choose Nicole to play with her, and Kevin picks Danny to play with him, and right now, Memphis is thinking this is the best case scenario. He goes around to everyone saying, hey, the point is to throw it to me, and then I'm going to use the power of veto to backdoor David. Nobody likes that plan, but majority of the people playing in the veto want the veto to be used. Everyone but Tyler. What could go wrong? That's a possible foreshadowing happening. Now everyone's just chilling out, doing their thing, and then they hear a familiar robotic high-pitched voice, and that means Zingbot is here in the Big Brother house to roast and zing all the contestants and then host the veto competition. So let's go down these zings that Zingbot gave to everybody and I wanna rank them or kinda of give my review on them. The first one he roasts is David and he roasts him for being a BB All-Star or on the season All-Stars. I think that is low hanging fruit. I think uh, it wasn't very creative. Enzo, he roasts him for having his nickname as the Meow Meow in, as a guy in his 40s. I thought that one was decent but it just shows that Enzo really doesn't have a whole lot going on in the game to really roast except for his nicknames. Then Memphis, he calls a big pile of crap. Uh, I think that is spot on right there, saying bot. Cody, he roasts him for his IQ not being very high. Cody has had a lot of dumb moments uh, and dumb conversations on the live feed, so I appreciate that one. I thought that one was actually pretty creative. Uh, Danny, he zings her for being old. I thought that one was low-hanging fruit. Um, nothing very creative about that one. And then Zingba comes in with a heater, like a real good slider right here, down the middle with Christmas saying, what's the difference between you and the holiday season? One is cold, stress-inducing, and annoying, and the other one is the holiday season. Bam! Right there, I mean, this was perfect in all sense of a zing. I mean, this one has Christmas uh, using her name and using a whole bunch of Christmas puns. Now he uses it on her and he hits the nail on the head. I gosh, that was awesome. And then we move on to Kevin, who he basically calls boring. Again, not very creative or exciting. Tyler, he rubs it in his face that he didn't win, and then he keeps on talking about how great his relationship with Angela is, and he won more than the money because he got the girl. I thought that one was all right, it was decent. For Davon, he roasts her for being on three seasons now of Big Brother, and then two seasons of The Challenge, and she hasn't won anything. I'll let you know right now that she was on one of the toughest seasons, I think, of The Challenge, which is War of the Worlds, and she almost made the finals. She was the elimination, and confessional queen, um, so I'm not gonna hold that against her, uh, but I do like the shout out that the challenge got on Big Brother and Nicole. Oh boy, Nicole got it the worst, but it was the best zing of the episode, and that was Nicole gets zinged 
for crying so much and having an annoying voice, all while singing in the key of Here Comes the Bride. That was, that was like a standing ovation right here. Nicole and Christmas, A plus zings. Some of them were very much in the middle of the road and some were just low hanging fruit, but I have to give it to them that Christmas and Nicole and even Memphis's were chef kiss. It was amazing. It was awesome. It was great. But now let's move on to the veto competition called Tiger Zing, where there are three tigers in this maze that are just on the loose. One at a time, the house guests have to enter the maze. They have to return the tigers to their specified cages. Once they do that, they hit the buzzer to stop their time. The person to do this the quickest wins veto and can save either Davon or Kevin. Everyone's doing the maze and then we get the times and by a time of two minutes and 55 seconds, Tyler wins the veto competition and wins the veto. And we all know that Tyler does not want the veto to be used. He doesn't want David to be put on the block and backdoored. So he's telling Memphis, I'm not gonna use it. Memphis at first is upset, but then he's like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna trust the committee on this one. And so now he is on board to getting Davon out of this game. At the veto ceremony, that's when Davon like goes in on everybody. She is pointing out Christmas, pointing out Tyler, Memphis, and even David and saying, you're not gonna use it. I knew this was a possibility that once you got your sights set on me after the Bailey vote out, that you were gonna set your sights on me and the first opportunity you were gonna take, you were gonna take it. So I know you're not gonna use the veto and whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. And I love this. She was standing up for herself and she was like, you're not gonna take control of this, comp uh, this situation. You may have the veto, but you know what? I'm owning this moment and there's nothing you can say about it. So it says he's not gonna use the veto. So she's absolutely right and that is it for this episode. Both Devon and Kevin are still up on the block. They're still nominated and one of them is going to be eliminated from this game on Thursday. But we're gonna have to wait and see what's gonna happen. What did you think about this episode? Let me know that in the comment section below. What did you think about the zings? What did you think about the veto competition? And what did you think about uh, Tyler not using the veto? Who do you want to see leave the Big Brother house? If you want to see anybody leave at all, let me know that in the comments section below. But now we're going to be going into live feed updates. And like I mentioned, there's not a lot going on after the veto ceremony. One, everybody knows who they want to target this week and get them out. And that is Davon. I'm 95% sure that Davon is going to be leaving this week because Cody wants it to happen. And he pretty much told... Danny what he wants to happen and Danny's just gonna go along with it the same with Nicole um, also the live feeds have been down for like 22 hours people were upset on Twitter about them paying for these live feeds yet they are down so much of the time not even just because of the 22 hours but because they just keep on getting cut off with people just talking or singing so they've been frustrated with that Davon and Kevin are still trying to figure out what happened with the Ian vote, and even Kevin is like, what if Nicole voted to take Ian out? And Devon is just thinking that could not happen, and Kevin's like, yeah, but what if? <laughs> like, what if that was the case? So Nicole was talking to Christmas and saying that she feels like she's about to crack, she doesn't want to lie anymore, but if she does come out with the truth that it could expose the alliance. And so Christmas was like, why not just say it in the goodbye messages? So Nicole is thinking about putting in the goodbye messages that it wasn't David who voted to take out Ian, but it was her own vote. Now with this whole week settled on who was gonna go home, the rest of this week in the committee has not been smooth sailing. There has been a lot going on a lot of dissension starting to pop up and I think people are finally starting to realize that the final six is coming up and they're gonna have to turn on each other sooner rather than later. We see this happening with Memphis making a final three deal with Cody and Enzo and himself called the Wise Guys and then he makes a final three deal with Christmas Enzo and himself called, guess, guess, try to guess what it is, the Wise Guys. Why is he using two names again? And then he makes a final two deal with Enzo called you guessed it, the wise guys. And I don't understand why, maybe because he can't think of like three different names and he doesn't want to get caught like saying the wrong name to somebody. Who cares? Tyler is nervous about Danny. We saw that in the episode. He dislikes Memphis and Cody agrees. 
Memphis is so hard to work with and he just wants him out. And also the same with Christmas. People find her annoying. She's always running around talking. Uh, Cody and Enzo were talking about how Danny and Christmas are always talking too much. So there is some dissension happening within the committee, within the group. And we're going to have to see how that will react or how that will all come to terms once the eviction happens and who wins HOH. I'm praying that it's David. I'm praying that it's Kevin. If Davon is in fact the one evicted from tonight's episode, I want one of them to, to get the HOH and take some shots and let's see what's going to happen and where all the lines are drawn in the committee. I want to see it happen, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? Let me know that in the comment section below. And what do you think is going to happen in the eviction? Who do you think is going to be evicted? Let me know that in the comment section below. And also, who do you want to see win HOH for this upcoming week? Let me know that too. And also, are you excited about the neighbor twist that's going to be coming up during this like Thursday show? I'm excited. I want to see who's going to be brought out. I cannot wait. But what do you think is going to happen? Let me know that in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. While you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be back really, really soon with more Big Brother content, more content in general. But until then, peace.